So as you can see here, we have the Vision Pro. And we are now in, what is this? 2.2 uh, uh, beta. Okay, Vision OS 2.2, as you can see there. All right, cool, cool, cool. And then if you hit connect on your MacBook, okay, supposedly you'll be able to have a full, uh, I finally have the ultra wide screen here. We'll try it out anyway. Let's see, you have this, okay. I, this is my first time trying it out too, cause I, I don't know how it works. Um, let's just X that. Oh, there it is. So if you look up there, there's a wide version. Okay. Let's see how that does. It takes a little second there. That's pretty good. Okay. And then we have the ultra wide. Oh, thing is huge, man. Now I'm so glad that this is finally out. Um, and as you could see here, you're still able to, you know, use your mouse as per normal, but this is really good because now you're able to kind of play around with this. Okay. Now, if you're editing, you can uh, use that and then you can, you know, rearrange your apps as you could see here. Really good, right? There you go. Pretty good. Okay. Now nothing, nothing needs to be, you know, as you can see there, pretty good. Oh, that is amazing. It's like having an ultra wide monitor, right? But just all in your head and you don't have to buy a, you know, a screen, a monitor that's ultra wide. So this is really good. You're able to put, um, let's try it out here. A um, couple of windows, maybe three windows here. So if you are, you know, you have your Safari right there. Boom. And let's see. Ah, okay. It does that. All right. Um, Okay, exit full mode, as you can see there, you're able to fit pretty much, you know, like a designer, like me, I designed my own um, newsletters on this side, as you can see here, pretty good. And then you can browse the net on this side, watch a little bit, and you can edit your videos on this side as well. Um, overall, I really love this. Now that you're able to have an um, ultra wide screen for everything, and at the same time, of course, you could still pop up your menus here and open a few things like um, if you want to have notes on the side, you can have that still. As you can see there, put it up there. I know the ceiling height is pretty short here, but I'm still able to put beyond that, which is really nice. Of course, you could still bring up other things. You can have free form right there. Put that up there. Um, you know, on top of your already ultra wide screen here for the Vision Pro. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. So as you could see here, you know, world, your this is this is quite quite good. I'm I'm pretty impressed by this. Finally, that it's out on. Uh, you know, it took a long time, right? Vision OS 2.2. But we're able to do the ultra wide that they showcase in WWDC. Not bad. Thanks for watching, everyone. Just a quick video just to show you guys that you're, you know, the new update for the Vision OS 2.2 here, beta. Pretty good. So, are you um, going to update your Vision Pro? Do you still have your Vision Pro? You haven't, um, you know, uh, sold it or um, returned it back to Apple? I still have mine and I haven't used this for a while, but I might give it a shot. Um, I did get the new Mac mini M4, so I'm going to test it out with these as well. Um, I think I only use this during travel because I don't have a big monitor. So for example, um, let's X this out. I have this monitor right here um, when I'm at home. So I'm able to kind of work with my MacBook Pro 16 inch and my uh, studio display so i don't really need this at home but when i am i am out and about um, traveling um, i do need the vision pro for a bigger screen so i do use it for that um let me know uh, your thoughts about this ultra wide and wh what do you use your vision pro if you still have it 
What do you use it for? Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.